How many shows do you think we've done in 20 years? As, I don't know. Is it over 1,000? <laughs> yeah. yeah is, it it is. is it over 2,000? Yeah. It is. Yeah. It's not over 3,000, could yeah. it be? It is. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Where have you been? Well, I don't know. <laughs> it's been 20 years. A lot of them I don't remember. Has it been over four? Over 4,000? No, times? it has not. Okay, so it's about 3,280 shows. Oh, you're very close. 3,560. Wow, well, that is a lot of... 3,560. A lot of shows. Well, that's... Yeah, that's what that is. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, did we open the deal? It's open. Hey, here's our friend Biff Henderson every uh, Friday night. Biff is nice enough. <laughs> and Biff, <laughs> Biff you've, you've, you've been with us all 20 years, haven't you? All 20 years. My God, God bless you. Yeah. Nice work, Biff. And, and what Biff will do for us, as he has done uh, each night for quite a while, when, when I announce the hometown of the uh, mail, the letter, uh, Biff will then locate it on the map with that uh, <laughs> pointer and then indicate it with a colorful push pin. Yes, Are you ready to go, Biff? Yes, sir. Okay, here we go. Uh, Dear Dave, letter number one, one begins. Do you watch game shows? Catherine Lawrence, Baltimore, Maryland. This is very easy. Baltimore, Maryland, Biff. Baltimore, okay. Maryland. <laughs> you got it? Yes, I do. This should not be tough for you. There it is, Baltimore, Maryland. Baltimore, nice Maryland. <laughs> the, uh, the question is about game shows, and I want to tell you something. ABC uh, got that uh, John McEnroe. You know what I'm talking I about? I heard about this. It's the called the chair. Chair, yeah. And, and what they do is they put a person in the chair, and then, excuse me, they, uh, <laughs> uh, they, um, you got a Tums or like a roll aids or something? I'll, 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 I'll think about it. They, uh, they put a guy, a man or a woman, in the chair, and then they, they, uh, they uh, uh, shoot him with uh, electricity, with freezing rain, with, with heat, and they, they, loud noises, they try to scare them, and they have to... Here, watch this. This is the chair over there on ABC. Look at that. Fire, the, the lasers, and then and they monitor your heart. It's just crazy. And, you know, it makes you think. Remember the old days when a TV quiz show, a game show, just, you know, you answer a question and you win like a... Those a, were the days. Now it's... it's well, this, this trend is affecting every television, every television game show. For really? example, Jeopardy. Now, could there oh. be a duller, more middle-of-the-road Jeopardy show than Never. Jeopardy? Yeah, all right. Here, here now, take a look. Because of the influence of the chair, watch this. And in other news, 2001 marked this co-editor's 20th year with 60 Minutes. Jason. Uh, <laughs> who is Ed Bradley? That's right. I'll take American Mountain Rangers for 300. You see how? That's, a lot. That's the key. You have to remain calm. I see. Yeah. That's the trick. If you want to win anything on Jeopardy now, you have to be have to have ice water in your veins. I don't know how he did that, actually. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I could do that. I probably would would yell out. I would yell. Out. I would. I said, get away from me with that saw. I would. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say that too, yeah. I don't know if I'd say it first or like after. Yeah. But it would you'd say it eventually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Letter number two, have you ever seen a ghost? Uh, Jackie Ronena, Bill Erica, Massachusetts. What? Bill Erica. Bill like Bill Ricka. Bill Ricka, Massachusetts. Biff, Bill Ricka, Massachusetts. I don't know. You're on your own there. I have no idea where that is. <laughs> Bill Ricka, Massachusetts. Yeah, it's right it? there around Boston. So. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> probably around Boston. Have I, uh, have I seen any ghosts? Uh, no, but you know, I was talking to Rupert G., the guy who owns and operates the Hello Deli out there. Is Rupert still in there? Let me see if Rupert G. Hey, Rupert, how are you? How are you? Happy anniversary. Now, Rupert. Mm -hmm. what, what did you tell me earlier today when I came in for uh, my meatball hero? What did you tell me? You had seen a ghost? Yeah, yeah, it was pretty intense. R really? Really? Yeah, I remember. It was late one night. Yeah, Rupert's got his own flashback. I was just getting ready to leave when a tingling in my spine told me that I wasn't alone. I knew I had locked the door, but still, I could sense an eerie force from a different dimension. Suddenly, 
I saw a terrifying specter straight from the bowels of hell itself. Then it spoke. Pack of camera lights. Sure. Five and a quarter. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Take care. I've never been more scared in my life. Well, Rupert, I'm glad you're all right. Thank you for sharing that with us. Rupert G., ladies and gentlemen. Uh, letter number three. Dear Dave, what do you think is really going on down there at Camp X-Ray? Well, that's, that's a good question. A lot of people have been uh, interested in that. That's where they've taken the uh, Taliban uh, prisoners or detainees. Detainees. Yes. Yeah. And I, you know, I think things are fine. I don't know. I think everything's think fine. Down. How do, well, here, take a look. I think it's just fine. Relax. It's fine. Looking for somewhere to send your captured Taliban troops this summer? Try Camp X-Ray. Nestled on the glistening shores of Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, Camp X-Ray is where POWs from all over the world enjoy fun activities like horseback riding, arts and crafts, and long swims in the pool. But don't take our word for it. I am making so many friends here at Camp X-Ray. We have campfires and sing-alongs, and next week we are putting on a talent show. I love Camp X-Ray. And unlike other camps, we promise no forced marches, no interrogations, no hot box. That's the Camp X-Ray guarantee. Camp X-Ray, more than just a POW camp. You don't want, you don't want the hot box. See, I think things are fine. I see that. Hey, Biff. I forgot, I forgot to mention the, the town there. This one's uh, Boston, Massachusetts. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Hi. You are living large like, tonight, my friend. Yeah, Boston, uh, Boston. Well, yeah. Like I'm robbing sorry. a bank tonight. <laughs> That's Boston. Yeah, nice going. <laughs> okay. Uh, letter number four. Dear Dave, what has kept the show running all these years? Kyle Barker, St. Louis, Missouri. Another easy one, Biff. St. Louis, Missouri. Okay. Oh. Gateway to the West. Right there. You know. Mighty Mississippi. They wrote it so small on here. <laughs> you can't stump him. You just can't stump him. He is Mr. Geography. Uh, <laughs> the question here is what has kept the uh, show running uh, all of these years? And, uh, uh, you know, tonight is the... Uh, Paul, I think you've got a pretty good answer for this. I don't, I don't really know. People, I don't know. I, I didn't even know it was 20 years. I think I could take this. All right, thank if, you, If Paul. you don't mind. No, I don't mind. So Kyle Barker from St. Louis wants to know What's the secret behind the late show? And what exactly has made it run for two decades? Is it luck, skill, hard work? Why, no. <laughs> it's... Ah, it's pointless musical numbers. They don't require too much thought, preparation, or money. Pointless musical numbers. As long as there's confetti, they don't have to be funny. Huh? 